Welcome to our daily devotional reading. This month, we are focusing on worshiping at home, how to develop a rich worship experience inside your home. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you'll be able to learn principles that you can apply in your worshiping experience. November 14th, Jesus in the heart makes the life fragrant. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. Psalm 5 and verse number 3. Christian reader, let the great purpose that constrained Paul to press forward in the face of hardship and difficulty lead you to consecrate yourself wholly to God's service. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might. Let your daily prayer be, Lord, help me to do my best. Teach me how to do better work. Help me to bring into my service the loving ministry of the Savior. The responsibility of each human agent is measured by the gifts he or she holds in trust. All are to be workers, but upon the worker who has had the greatest opportunities, the greatest clear clearness of mind in understanding the scriptures rests the highest responsibility. All receivers should hold themselves accountable to God and use their talents for God's glory. Success in the work of God is not the result of chance, of accident, or of destiny. It is the outworking of God's providence and the award of faith and discretion and virtue and persevering labor. It is the practice of the truth that brings success and moral power. The bright rays of, of the sun of righteousness are to be welcomed as the light of the mind. The principles of the character of Christ are to be met the principles of the human character. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the love that is the fulfilling of the law. Every person whose heart is filled with compassion for fallen humanity, who loves to, uh, who loves to a purpose, will reveal that love by the performance of Christ-like deeds. True Christianity diffuses love through the whole being. It touches every vital part, the brain, the heart, the helping hands, the feet, enabling us to stand firmly where God requires us to stand, lest the lame be turned out of the way. The contemplation of him who loved us and gave himself for us will make the life fragrant and give power to perfect Christian experience. We can, we can reveal the likeness of our divine Lord. We can know the science of spiritual life. We can glorify God in our bodies and in our spirits, which are His. Christ has shown us that we may accomplish through cooperation with Him. Abide in me, He says, and I in you. The Review and Herald, April 4th, 1912. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that uh, your life will be fragrant as you allow Jesus to take over your life and to, to enter into the door of your heart and take control. Thank you. See you tomorrow for another devotional reading.